Hello everyone! Today I'm going to be doing Google Forms Part 1. This is the first part of all of the series of Google Forms. So why don't we just talk about it today? Since we're on the homepage now, let's go to Google Forms. I've, I'm on um, the Safari app, but you can choose what you want. And so let's type in forms. No, not Microsoft. I'm just going to go on Google and search in forms instead because when I search up forms in Safari, it takes me to Microsoft forms, but we want Google forms. So you click the first link, Google forms, sign in. You will have to do some signing in, but anyways i can change settings here as you can see on my cursor i want to get a new project so i'm gonna click this add button and click now as you can see it says untitled form untitled question option one add other okay i'm gonna change this untitled form to um let me delete that first i'm gonna do quiz instead i think that's better because it was doing lots of stuff i'm gonna have a form description let's say it no it is a quiz that tests yourself about countries and cities okay that's what i've done okay let's go on to the first question i'm gonna write the question what is the capital city of united kingdom Okay, I could have a different way of getting an answer. I could have multiple choice. I could have short answer, paragraph, check boxes, drop downs, a file upload, linear scale, multiple choice grid, tick box grid, date and time. No, not time. I'm gonna do short answer. And I'm going to have, I want to add an answer. So I'm going to add a response validation on the question. You'll see three dots and it'll say more options. You click it and description, response validation. Another greater than, this is for the response, but I don't need response validation. Um, I want to add an answer to it, but first, pardon me, so if we're going to add an answer, I'm going to show you later, but for now, let's just say you want to add an image. Hang on, hang on. I will do multiple choice just to show you. I'm getting a bit jumbled up, but sorry for that. Let me just do what I need to do. Okay, so option one, let's say, hmm. Let's say leads. As an option, 
Birmingham. Option three, London. Option four, Glass. Go. Required. Um. Shuffle option order. Nope, hasn't done that. Continue. Nope. Don't need that, but if you want to have like something that if you click an answer, you have to go to this question. If you click an answer, you have to go to that question. No. Responses, settings, make this a quiz. So on questions, you see on the top, you have responses and settings. And then you can click make this a quiz. Click it and then you can have answers. That's what I was looking for. If you want an answer key, click it. Answer feedback is London. Then I click done. But I want points. So one point, done. Anyways. So that's how you add a question, some answers, and the actual answer, and how you can give it points. That is also how you can change the how the answers are written. Let's make another question before we go. Let's say, guess, no, guess the... The country's flag. No, let's just say guess the country. And I'm going to add... I'm going to add this. I'm going to go to Google Images. Wait. I click this box. It looks like a portrait image. I'm going to go to Google Images. And I'm going to click... Hmm... Bangladesh and then I'm going to have this flag because it's the flag of Bangladesh guess the country I'm going to make it a little bit smaller and I'm going to have it short answer I'm going to have an answer key I'm going to write Bangladesh I can also have another answer as Bangladesh <coughs> Those are the only two. I had two answers because some of you might write stuff in smaller case. So, uh, and then I'm going to have that as incorrect and answer feedback. The points, I'm going to have three points because why not? So that's it for Google Forms part one. I'll see you in the next part. Let's head to the main stage. This is the end of Google Forms Part 1. I'll see you in the next part. Goodbye.